This podcast is brought to you by PodPro Australia. What if I told you you could be more productive with your marketing? Would you believe me? In this episode, I'll share five ways you can. Social media, Google, email marketing, systems, website traffic, and the endless content creation that comes with marketing. It's overwhelming, right? Say goodbye to endless stress and hello to clarity with the Meaningful Marketing Podcast. In this podcast, I will share with you fast and free practical methods to help you manage, monetize, and market your business, all infused with a healthy dose of motivation. Let's do this. Welcome back to another episode of the Meaningful Marketing Podcast. Today, we're going to explore strategies for boosting productivity and performance with the managing of your marketing. Why? Because this ultimately will lead to increased profitability. Boosting productivity and performance is essential for business owners striving to maximize their profitability. Did you know that highly productive businesses are 56% more profitable than their less productive counterparts? Now, imagine you're about to go on a car trip. You've got no GPS, uh, you jump in the car, you've got a car full of kids, and you're now, you're heading north, but you've got no idea which road to take or where you're going. You can imagine how frustrated you're going to get by taking all the wrong turns, ending up at a dead end, you're burning fuel, you don't know where the toilets are, the kids are screaming in the back, are we there yet? And the whole car trip is incredibly non-productive and frustrating. You get it, right? That is exactly how it can be when it comes to the management of your marketing. So let's start with five productivity strategies. The first one is you. Whoever is managing your marketing, you are the vehicle. And that vehicle needs to be healthy, happy, and creative. In order to do that, you need to have a balanced lifestyle, make sure you're keeping your sleep up, your water intake's good, and you've got a relatively fit and healthy lifestyle. If you're in good working order, you'll be more creative and you'll be able to perform better. So that is my number one tip for being more productive is make sure that you are taking care of you. Number two is make sure you know where you are going. So you want to make sure that you've got clearly defined marketing goals of what you're wanting to achieve. What is your overall strategy? What are the the high priorities that you need to do so that you can maintain focus and drive performance? Number three is streamlining your systems and automating as much as possible. So if there is something in your business that you are doing repeatedly, most likely you'll be able to systemize and automate it. It would be absolutely redonkulous for you to go and do that every single day repeatedly when you could create a system around it or automate that process. Streamline your workflows and eliminate any inefficiencies are sure to increase your productivity. Number four is upskill. Most people are procrastinating or avoiding tasks because they don't feel they have the confidence in order to do it. Usually, it simply is just a lack of skills. Even the fear that they have around completing that is usually, again, just a lack of having the confidence or skills to be able to execute that project. So you end up lacking in enthusiasm. Now, imagine if you invested in yourself, in your training, and in your personal development, and in your education, and you started to enhance your skills and your capabilities in your marketing. Imagine how much easier it would be to wake up every day to execute tasks, and how much more efficient you would be in doing them. This is surely going to improve your productivity. Anything new is challenging and uncomfortable, but I encourage you to invest in yourself, practice and get better at things, rather getting things done than trying to get them done perfectly done because you'll get better each time you do it. The last one is around decluttering. And when we talk about decluttering, it's about getting rid of any distractions. It's about even looking at any negative thoughts that may be seeping in and and self-sabotaging you. It could also be around decluttering any administrative tasks, a dirty desk, or even the environment that's around you. And believe it or not, it could even mean decluttering from toxic relationships that may be around you that are negatively influencing you or who are not lifting you up but breaking you down. I also encourage you to turn off all notifications, all notifications on your laptop, all notifications on your phone, so that you have allocated specific times to go and check your emails or check your socials, but you're not constantly getting ding, 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 ding the whole time. 
having your notifications beeping all the time has been proven to increase anxiety, which is going to make you more overwhelmed and less productive. Throughout my journey as a business owner, I've learned firsthand the importance of prioritizing tasks and maximizing my efficiency. And it did start always with me taking care of myself. By embracing productivity enhancing strategies and fostering a culture of continuous improvement, I've been able to achieve significant growth and profitability. It's about working smart, not hard. It's not about working from 5 a.m. in the morning until 9 p.m. at night inefficiently. It's about working well, for me, usually a 10 to 4 day, and it's about working smart, not hard. So my inspiration for you is be the change you want to see. I absolutely love Richard Branson. He's fit, he's healthy, he's happy, he's humorous, and he's got a great work ethic and culture and is very family focused. So for me, that is who I aspire to be like. And that means by being more productive, I can have a more balanced life, a more happy life. I can spend more time with my kids, but I can still get the results that I want from my marketing. Time blocking my activities has been one of the most successful things that I've done. Please make sure to check back on a previous podcast that we've created around time blocking. But in time blocking, it is also important to put the self-care things in there, along with time to check your social media and time to check your emails. It has been proven that checking your emails less frequently and having allocated time blocks for it has proven to be more productive than checking it throughout the day. I also recently had a client who said to me that they check their emails throughout the day and then they star the emails that they've got to get back to, but because they haven't allocated enough time, they then have to go back to those emails later on and actually respond to those emails. I encourage you to check your emails twice a day. For me, I do it 9.30 to 10 in the morning and I do it 4.30 to 5 in the afternoon. And in those two 30-minute blocks, I'm able to check all my emails and reply in the same time. And I do this when I'm not distracted and I manage my tasks more efficiently and more productively. My last bit of inspiration for you is to regularly assess your business processes and identify the areas for improvement to enhance your productivity and your performance. Get comfortable with uncomfortable. Learning is challenging. Anything new is challenging. However, the more we practice, the better we get and the more we start to enjoy it. Now that you have insights into boosting productivity and performance for your marketing, I encourage you to take action and implement some of these strategies. Let's inspire each other to achieve greater profitability through being more productive. In the comments below, please put your productivity tip Or if you have a new commitment to being more productive, I'd love to hear which of the above strategies you are going to soon apply. Increasing productivity and performance is key to unlocking greater profitability when it comes to your business marketing. For more tips and resources on boosting productivity, please visit our website, onlinebusinessmarketing.com.au. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and leave a review if you found this episode valuable. Remember, productivity is the cornerstone for making your marketing more meaningful. Let's strive for excellence together. Until next time, make your marketing meaningful. Thanks for listening in. Meaningful marketing is all about you making your marketing meaningful. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please hit that subscribe button. But subscribing means that you won't miss out on future episodes all about marketing and motivation. Stay inspired, stay focused, and make your marketing meaningful.